so I wanted to share with you my experience of walking on fire for the very first time 1700 degrees of pain <laughs> and how does this actually associate with how we make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis it's very interesting to realize that once we learn about how these two things are so, so closely connected you know how can I make better decisions or can I make more logical decisions because in reality there is no logic in this one particular thing because walking on fire <laughs> let's be honest there's no logic to it there is every single fiber of your being that is telling you don't walk because for the longest time I was standing there in front of the fire and then just wondering to myself you know I have to walk on these hot coals how am I going to do it can I do it <laughs> is this within my capability we often get stuck in the same fashion in our own lives where there is a painful stimulus that we need to kind of go through and we know on the other side there is maybe a breakthrough there is a potential to become you know successful at something to have accomplished something that we thought was impossible and that's strange how we can associate that with something as simple as a firewalk for me personally one thing that I picked up from this is how we form negative associations with painful stimuli even if they are stimuli that can actually take us to success they, they can show us the path that you can endure a lot more than you think right now your capabilities your potential is so much greater than what you actually believe yourself to be right now when I was looking back on this <laughs> I kept telling myself it's going to be painful it's going to be painful I really didn't want to follow through with it as I stood there you know trying to get myself into the mindset that you know I need to just switch my mind off and just walk <laughs> easier said than done and that's the sad reality of it how much ever you push yourself in these situations you tell yourself I must do it I should do it I need to do it you see how much pressure that puts on you undue pressure that you don't really need so often in our lives we end up getting into this position that I have to get something done or else there's no meaning in doing this but there is some meaning in overcoming a challenge and personally for me this was a hard one because it really challenged me it really hurts when you walk on hot coals but it hurts only if you think about it so whenever you have something that you want to achieve you have something on the far end your goal something that you want to achieve something that makes you feel successful remember this one simple thing that it's going to be painful it's not going to be easy often we need to kind of switch off our minds we need to, to we don't need to think too much about things we need to be slightly impulsive at times but at the same time once you complete the challenge look back and see what you did right what worked for you what did you learn from the experience and that allows you to make better decisions moving forward reflection is one thing that I have realized is so important and we don't spend enough time reflecting we don't spend enough time critically thinking about what we have done previously so one simple experience of walking on fire it really makes you think about what your potential is and where you currently stand right now 
so for the longest time I was stuck in that position I really didn't know whether I could continue walking so I had already walked like maybe eight times across a six to eight foot fire uh, and I really wanted that breakthrough that you know it's just not about enduring the pain or walking across fire it's so much more than that what is the thing that I'm looking to gain from engaging in this experience and I never realized what would eventually come out until for the longest time I was not able to walk across and then one of my friends grabbed my hand and he led me across and all we did was five four three two one uh, and we walked across and to be very frank with you when we did that there was zero pain no pain whatsoever it's unreal to think that how teamwork can change something so so easily I never really got this perspective earlier but once I realized that if you get into this framework in your mind that yes if I manage to do something together with someone if I make a decision that promotes teamwork the likelihood that I will succeed at what I'm doing right now that increases so dramatically think about an area in your life where you're currently stuck you don't know what kind of decision you want to make you want to see some kind of achievement come out of it you want to see your true potential <coughs> walk on fire <coughs> because it pushes you to stop thinking because maybe sometimes in your life you need to be a little impulsive you need to make a decision right now that is going to benefit you in the future but you don't know that yet so the more you think about it is this the right option for me maybe a career choice it may be something that you're trying to achieve in terms of money whether well, this is the right business decision think about it it's always a matter of how you put it all into perspective later on it's about making a decision now and then making it the right one later does it mean you make stupid decisions <laughs> I walked on fire so I can't really t tell you whether it was a smart or a stupid one but what I can tell you it tell you what it was a learning experience it taught me I am so much greater than what I think I am and you can take so much away from this if there is a challenge right now in your life where you're being held back you don't know how to move forward just make a decision to actually follow through with what you say you're going to do and on the other end of pain is always a breakthrough remember this the more you push yourself to do things that you're not accustomed to do but you need to do in order to get to where you want in life it all comes together so put it all into perspective think about how you can go about doing this in your life find an area that you believe that you are holding yourself back where you feel that hey I am here right now how can I get to the other side how can I push myself that much more because you have the potential you have the power within you but it's all about accessing that power whenever you feel like you can't do something and how do you do that follow through just go ahead and do it don't think too much about it follow through with what you say you're going to do be confident about yourself and your abilities and if you can't do it alone don't be afraid to ask for help this is something that I really struggled with for the longest time ask for help whenever you need help and once it all comes together you will see success decision making is not easy but it doesn't have to be hard at the same time so use this information any way you want to remember that you don't have to walk on fire but you have so many challenges in front of you that you need to overcome in your life make a decision and then think logically about what you did later on whenever it's of relevance try to find all the things that went right and then use that same information in future situations so that you can ultimately build an experience that you can bank upon later 
that I made a mistake previously and this is where I need to rectify and correct things. So that amount of critical thinking comes with time, it takes experience, you need to fail a bunch of times but the more you fail in terms of you know having to go through challenges and uh, going through a lot of pain in life you kind of become immune to it and that's in many ways that's what happens when you walk on fire you walk you, you do the fire walk basically once you do it you become immune to pain and that is so important if you want to be truly successful in life if you want to build up that kind of immunity you need to keep going through pain again and again because the challenges you will face the people telling you oh you can't do something you can't achieve what you're aiming to achieve they're all there to hold you back so set it all up in your mind think about what is holding you back right now is it someone in your life that you need to let go of is it a decision that you can make right now and if you made the decision in this fashion would it take your life to the next level think about all these things that's what critical thinking is all about if you found this video useful make sure you leave it a thumbs up comment down below tell me what you thought about this video what do you want to see in upcoming videos because remember i am dedicated to making you perform like a champion and become the best version of yourself that's what we are all about here on this channel i would suggest that you read up on emotional intelligence the video that i put out hit the i button on how you can become successful using the three components in 2018 of emotional intelligence that will drive you towards success go watch that video and of course remember that i want to know from you i want to hear where you're from i want to know what you're taking away from all of this content so tell me where you're from comment down below let me know what it is you're looking to gain from this channel what do you want me to teach you because psychology is everywhere we need to think and adapt to improve our lives on a day-to-day -day basis and this is the place where i will bring you that information i'm currently traveling right now on my way to the netherlands first time i'm going there so pretty excited euro euro trip that's what you could call it anyway keeping all of this in mind make decisions first and then make them the right ones later put everything into perspective remember that don't hold yourself back you have tremendous potential it's all about doing what you believe is the right thing and what you're going to gain from making a particular decision right now so make a decision right now and tell me how it works out comment down below this is Vikram signing off and I'll see you in the next session.